Hey guys, my name is Matt. I'm doing a review on the Sorrel Caribou Winter Boot. I'm gonna go over the old version, which was made in Canada, the new version with that company is owned by Columbia and they make those in China. I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons of each pair. I'm gonna go over the different liners. There's a man-made liner and there's a wool liner. I'm gonna show you the strengths of these shoes and tell you why the Caribous are the number one winter boot across the world and no one disputes it. Guys, Sorrel utilizes the best process in making rubber in the world. Nobody makes better winter boots because nobody can make better rubber. And, and why is that? The original manufacturers, Kaufman and Broad, they weren't making boots originally. They were making tires. They were making rubber. And so they realized a lot of people in the winter were having problems when it was negative 20, negative 30, negative 50 degrees. And so they patented and they mastered the art of making rubber that would not crack, whether it was 50 years old, 100 years old, or it was negative 100 outside, okay? They started with that technology and then they designed a winter boot that beat all of them. Sorrel only uses the top grain leathers that they purchase from around the world. They treat that leather to make it absolutely waterproof. What do they do next? They start hand crafting your boots. See, when you look at these boots, you're gonna notice that it looks a little shabby. This is hand stitched. This isn't from a machine just doing the same thing over and over again. This is an individual. You can even look at the pattern here. Triple stitching, no one does that today. You can see where they blended this extra guard in there. You can look at the tread. You can look at the wool liner or the felt liner. You can look at the eyelets that just don't break. And again, when you take all of these different things together, what you're gonna find is you have the number one boot in the world and it is fully waterproof and you can get out there, okay, in a blizzard and your feet are toasty warm. People die in the elements because they get outside and they haven't protected their feet and they haven't protected their head. Oh my goodness. Your feet are covered. Make sure you get a good beanie. Now the shoe that I'm wearing here, this was made about two years ago um, Columbia in 2000, Columbia Shoe Company, bought out Sorrel. When they first started making these boots, they did not do a good job because they were not following Sorrel's manufacturing process and technique and how they made them. And so a lot of people had problems with these and you'll see a lot of reviews, people complaining in the early 2000s about them. For the last 15, 18 years, uh, Columbia, and Sorrel have been doing a great job in following the standards of how this boot was originally to be manufactured. These were made in Canada. If you can ever pick a pair of these up on eBay, you want it's going to be maybe a little bit different than this. It may say Kaufman and Broad. It may have a K here. That is the original manufacturer. Now everything you're going to get is from China. But again, they've done a really good job. Let me specify, if you bought these boots anywhere near 2000, you had problems with these boots. They had problems with their whole caribou line, but now they've done quite a good job of making a great winter boot. The sole is very thick. The leather is top grain leather. It's been treated. The rubber is pliable. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to crack on you. These boots, I mean, let me see if the date on these boots were. Oh my goodness, these are 18 years old. <laughs> so look at this. These are like 18, 19 years old. No problems anywhere with the leather. The leather, you can tell after 18 years, the color is changing. I could put some conditioner on there. So these are the new ones. These are the old ones. Just slight differences. You can see the old ones. This is yellowing just a tad bit. But I think actually the color was a little bit different back in the days all the same ringlets everything is identical so if you go to buy a pair on amazon i'll put a link in there you're not gonna have any problems with them and again all of these boots are hand stitched so you can see none of them are going to be identically perfect you see what i'm saying they're hand stitched and again you have the double stitching the triple stitching so guys let me show you the liner in here this is the man-made liner um it's thick I mean, it's probably three eighths inch. There's like three different layers to it. I have never had a problem 
with the liner in here, the man-made liner. Again, on the top, you always have the fuzz and that's what they're known for. Guys, this is the wool liner. This is 100% pure wool and it says it right here. You know what I'm saying? You can, ah, I'm sorry about that. This is nice. Um, is there a difference? Guys, look, look it, I, I'm telling you the truth. I cannot notice a difference between the wool liner and the felt man-made liner. They both, to me, are keeping my toes warm. They're, my feet are absolutely dry. They're both giving you about the same cushion. Um, but I know the wool is going to run you another $40 or $50. This shoe was made in Canada. The tread, as you can see, is flawless. They've had the same pattern year after year after year. Just a wonderful, wonderful boot. It's all waterproof. It's a nice boot, guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope this gave you some insight. And here's the thing, there's a lot of knockoffs, but I don't know of anyone that can make a boot like Sorel and uh, Columbia. They're doing a really good job. The way they fit on your feet is dynamic. They're not splashy, but there's enough room if you want to wear what, winter socks. The tread on them, insane. It grips mountains, it gri you can go through lakes, you can go through rivers, you can go through the deepest of snow. Guys, when I'm telling you these are number one, I'm not kidding around. You might think about getting a pair. Let's go.